Together with my father, I have an arable farm in the northeastern part of the Netherlands. I have about 120 hectares of land and the main crops that I grow are winter wheat, sugar beets, alfalfa, canola and beans. I think the soil identifies you as a farmer. It's important to keep the quality of your soil up so you don't have to do a lot of artificial things to keep the, the crops healthy. We want to have a standard that can be used by farmers to give more insights about the soil quality and specifically that we all speak the common language about what is soil quality. The OSI makes use of the analysis from the laboratory, from the soil, but also makes use of the satellite data and data from the farmer itself. The OSI is based on key performance indicators. It's about the chemistry, the structure and biology. Before the OSI, I was already taking soil samples and making analyses of that, but it was quite difficult to see if I was improving on some parts or not and to have an overall view on the quality of my soil. It really doesn't matter what you grow, where your farm is situated, what type of soil you have, if you have soil samples from many years back or not, everybody can learn something from the OSI. By gaining more knowledge with the OSI, for example, uh, you can make better decisions on, uh, on what you do on your farm. Two hundred farmers in the pilot phase are already using the Open Soil Index. Our plan is to get more engagement and we want to develop it more towards other regions in the world so that they can make use of the same technique, same application, so that we can grow a better world together. 